It's a bit of a slow Thursday this week in the game. We've got just three games for you to offer, but there's a lot to see. My name is Andrea Sachinke, and you're watching the OKHL Update. We travel to UFA first, where Stella Vatilai play house to Metalurg. The Beers just lead the season series 2-0. Homeside almost gets on the board early on. Black Kuzmin intercepts a clumsy pass on the forecheck, but fails to put it in the net. Magnika responds with a gorgeous rush by Evgeny Timkin, who dangles his way down the right wing to the net, but each shot goes wide of the cage. Salamat breaks the deadlock late in the period. Alexander Kadekin beats Vasily Kochkin for his 7th of the year, while Dmitry Kugoshev gets the only assist on the play. Metalurg strike back late in the second. Nikolai Kulemin slings the pass to Hermetsula for his ninth of the year. Tie game. Third period now. Kulemin with a chance to put Magnitka in the lead, but he gets robbed by Yuka Metsula. What a save to keep in a tie game. He goes to the shootout, and Metalurg still win it. Andrzej Lektionov has the game on his stick in the 10th round, and he delivers. Magnitsky improved their season series against Salavat to 3 0 as they take it 2 1 in the shootout. We travel to Sochi now, where the Leopards take on Atta on the list, looking to get the revenge for the 5 1 loss in Yekaterinburg a few weeks ago. Sochi opens for an exactly 11 minutes in. Artem Tamilin fires a top shell for his fourth of the season. There's all kinds of sauce on this one. The Leopards almost double their lead a few minutes later, but Nikita Tachitsky can't get a pass Jakub Kovacs from in tight. Second period now, Vitaly Popov squeezes into the zone and shoots from the dub, but Ilya Proskurikov makes a nice glove save. Sochi get a goal soon after that, but it's waved off after Peter review. The rule that Tachitsky intentionally kicks the puck into the net. Fast forward to late in regulation. Afton and Belista still looking for the equalizer with the extra attacker route, and they get it. Stepan Kuponov gets his first goal of the season, while former NHLers Peter Holland and Nikita Trump could get the assist. It goes to the shootout as well. Chicago Blackhawks prospect Andre Alter Bormakan scores the winner, and so she gets the extra point. 2 1 shootout is the final. You must be hungry for goals by now, but that's actually good because there's plenty and Nizhny comes tonight as Nefty Kimi go up against Drucker. The Wolves get on the board three and a half minutes in. Zach Mitchell scores his ninth of the season on a power play. Drucker get back even late in the period. Ruslan Karlan gets his first goal of the year, while Nick Balin gets an assist on the play to improve his point streak to six games. Nafti Kimi get back in the lead five minutes into the second period. Jakob Berglund buries the rebound for his 11th. It takes Tractor less than two minutes to get the equalizer. Andrew Caleb pulls Konstantin Barola for a power play goal. Soon after that, Nafti Kimi get a two-man advantage and they make it count. Captain Stepan Zaharchuk slams it into the back of the net. They get another goal on the very next shift. Ilga Shiksadarov scores his ninth of the year just a moment after Tractor went back to play in full strength. Alexander Afton pulls Tractor back to within one meter to the third with a beauty. Nikita Sherbak with the only assist on the play. Two former half sticks combine on this one. Zach Mitchell scores his second of the game late in regulation to give Nefikimik another two goal lead. With 10 seconds on the clock, Tomas Gita converts on a man advantage to make it a one-goal game again. Tractors stay on with the extra attacker, but Denis Kazilana hits the empty cage to seal the deal. Nefikimik win in exciting fashion, 6-4 is the final. And that's it for the LKHL update, but do come back tomorrow as we're going to have five more games for you to enjoy, including Torpedo vs. Akbars and Dynamo Moscow against Lokomotiv. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.